to the channel yo in this video i'm gonna share with you guys another must-have product here y'all had to forgive my jacked up baller it was a good product my baller actually cracked and this is the zamo cleaner wax and what this does repair swirl marks and minor scratches the world's best shine for all car finishes y'all know this wax is made in Germany, it's a car, rated number one car polish, and this is a must-have for white vehicles. All right, and the reason why I say that because most of your white cars doesn't show this this swirls and scratches as bad, but they'll be there. The paint effects will be there, and it'll cure your shine on white vehicles. So that's why you must do this steel. Just because you don't physically see them as much. The scratches, the swirls, the oxidation, everything is still there. It just ain't showing. But if you want to get the most shine out of your paint, you got to use products like this. It's just a must. I mean, you can make a white car really pop, too. I mean, this it, a white car can shine really well, but you got to use these type of products. All right, so let's get on it, y'all. Let's start by agitating this to the panel. Okay, and this got small abrasives in here, but this gonna take the inner scratches and swirl that you have on the paint out. And like I said, this is especially for white paints. You don't wanna get down on it and just go to work on white paints, but this is the, all right. I ain't just saying it, the white paints, but just because it doesn't show, just because it doesn't show the effects, believe me, the effects is there. Okay, I'm gonna work this in here. The jet is passing through. up a little bit this is on the fender my Ford Explorer y'all know about this truck it's a must have if you got a white paint job this product really can save your life Now, you still can get this out on exactly where you could get this now. But um, I'm just coming through with a series of products that you need for white paints. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. It doesn't take long to dry. Okay, let's buff it back off. And the good thing about this wax is it's going to add gloss and take away oxidation and stuff off your paint. That's a good thing. Okay. Now you can see the gloss. I'm going to flip the rag. Wipe it again. It's very slick now. Very slick. Y'all know this wax is made in Germany. So it's a really good, good wax. And it's a lot of gloss. Y'all tell me white paints won't shine? They will shine, as y'all can see there. Y'all, uh, look at the gloss on that. Oh, yeah. White paints will shine, y'all. Boy, that looks almost new. Using that Zymo, man. I'm telling y'all. That Zymo ain't no joke. Now, like I said, I don't I don't really know exactly where you could get this from now. Benny, you see my ball is old. But I'm pretty sure you still can get it. Y'all just shop on eBay or Amazon. And you can get this wax. But I will tell you, 
It's a must have if you got a white vehicle. Uh, because, like I said, take out scratches and swirls and all that kind of stuff you can't see. It'll take it right out. And, you know, like I said, typically white cars will shine or go down without, without you really knowing it. So, scratches will be there without you really knowing it. Oxidation will be there without you really knowing it. And swirls without you knowing it. So, to get the most out of white cars, you must use a product like this. And y'all see the gloss there on that fender, so that tells it all right there. And this is an older paint, 2001. So <laughs> if, my, if my 2001 can look this good, you know, y'all can imagine what newer paints look like. But uh, paints are very hard on the Ford Explorer, got kind of hard paint. It look like this paint has been cooked on or something. I will say Ford Explorers in, this, in these uh, second gens, they got some hard paint on them. They ain't like that little, like the soft type paint. It's hard, like it's cooked on paint. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's starting to rain a little bit. As y'all can see the beading action going on here now. I'll show you guys how this stuff beads water just with the rain water. Check this out. Okay, with the rain hitting it, you can kind of see the hydrophobic effects are just starting to rain. I did it at the right time so you guys can see how it does in the rain. Look here. Y'all getting true rain effects now. I just put it on, buffed it off, starting to rain. And look at the rain effects of it. Y'all see how tight those bees are? And how it's sheen right down on the panel here? Very impressive product, guys. Very impressive. Anyway, hit that subscribe. I don't like super long videos, man. I, I try to keep them short as possible. Anywhere from six to eight minutes after that. And I'm ready to move on to another video, another topic. You know. <laughs> But I'm glad it's raining so I can show you guys the water beading technology of this product. Let's take a good look at it. But yeah, guys, after a certain time, I'm ready to move on to another topic. Because there's something else I want to talk about, another product that's a must-have for white paints. But you see the beading of that Zabo. Very hydrophobic stuff. As you can see, it's very engineered product. And y'all can see it here. It's proven. So, um, yeah, man, there you have it, man. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. I got my umbrella out here, man. So if it started to rain, I ain't getting wet, guys. I'm dry. I'm dry. I'm under an umbrella. Look at that beating action, man. I'm out. Peace.